yes hi all welcome to shivagana aptitude classes so this is the solutions video of the today's tcs exam 13 9 2021 slot 1 that is the morning slot from 9 to 12 the numerical ability questions which are asked and the solutions i am putting in this video this is the first part of this uh, numerical ability solutions let us see the first question a number 452p36 is such that divisible by 36 452p36 is divisible by what 36 if a number is divisible by 36 it must be divisible by both 9 and 4 so let us apply the divisibility rule of 9 let the divisibility rule of 9 is sum of the digits so 4 5 2 p 3 x sum of the digits is 20 plus p so if 20 plus c is divisible by 9 p should be how much 7 20 plus 7 9 20 plus 7 27 27 by 9 is possible so p is 7 p square is 49 simple question the smallest number leaves the remainders 4, 5, 6, 7 on dividing by 5, 6, 7, 8. So the best way to answer this question is options help. So when the number is divided by 5, remainder should be 4. Number is divided by 6, remainder should be 5. Number is divided by 7, remainder is 6. Number is divided by 8, remainder is 7. We need to find that kind of smallest number. So as we need the smallest number, let us start from the smallest among the options 841 so 841 divided by 5 the remainder is how much 1 but by dividing by 5 we, rem we need remainder 4 so this is wrong we need remainder 4 but here we got 1 so next least is 839 so 839 divided by 5 remainder is how much 4 okay that is what we need next 839 divided by 6 839 divided by 6 the remainder is 5 next 839 divided by 7 the remainder is how much 6 similarly 839 divided by 8 the remainder is how much 7 all conditions are satisfied. Remainder 5, 6, 7 and 4. That's it. So whenever the least is required, checking the options from the least. What is the value of k in the expression? This is 2 power 1.5 plus 4 is nothing but a 2 square. That is 2 into 2.6. 6. 16 is nothing but 2 power 4. 4 into 4.7 plus 32 is 2 power 5 5 into 4.5 64 is 2 power 6 so 16 to 3.8 128 is 7 2 power 7 7 into 7.2 7 so this is nothing but 2 power k by using the on screen calculator this power will be 121.2 which is nothing but 2 power k k is 121.2 the expenditure of Rashmi is equal to what? 225% of her saving. So 225%, 225 divided by 100. So what I am going to take is, if saving is 100, saving is 100, expenditure is 225. Right? Then, as for this, so then from this income is how much? Expenditure plus saving. 325 now what is given income is increased by 20 percent so new income is 325 plus 20 percent of 325 which is nothing but 390 which is nothing but 390 325 plus 20 percent of 390 and and expenditure is increased by 40 percent this is increased by 40 percent so new expenditure expenditure is 225 plus 40% of 225, 40% of 225, 40% of 225 is 90, 225 plus 90 is 315. So from these two, 
new saving is income minus expenditure 390 minus 315 390 minus 315 which is nothing but 75 so initial saving is 100 now the saving is how much sorry now the saving is how much 75 saving is decreased by 25 from the initial of 100 percentage we need 25 percent so decreased by 25 percent saving is decreased by 25 percent next question good quality question right m percent of n m percent of n is p that's okay next n is 60 percent more than n is 16 percent more than m so n is 60 percent more than m more than m that's okay this is second equation and p is 40 percent of m 40 percent of m these three are given now we need n plus p so let us find out the n plus p n is m plus 60 by 100 m plus p is 40 by 100 m so n plus p is equal to 100 plus 60 160 plus 40 200 200 by 100 m so therefore m is equal to 100 by 200 into n plus p so m is 100 by 200 1 by 2 50 percent of m is 50 percent of n plus p so the per what percentage of n plus p 50 percentage of n plus p is m a sum of 12,000 is divided among a b c d such that a b together thrice as much as c d together and c gets one and half times c gets three by two times of d so what i am going to do is i am writing the a b c d ratio based on this c is equal to three by two d from this from this c is equal to 2 3 by 2 d which means c by d is equal to from this c by d is equal to how much 3 by 2 for example c is equal to 3 d is equal to 2 then what is the next condition what is the first condition a b together is 3 times of c d together here c d together how much 5 into 3 15 so a b we have to must share in what ratio a b total parts are 15 a b total parts are 15 so 9 6 i am sharing right 9 6 no no not a problem at all because we need c share we need c share not a problem at all a b together 15 parts these 15 parts we can share in any way anywhere anyway no problem because we need c share right therefore c share is 3 divided by total parts are 15 plus 5 20 and the amount is 12000 which is nothing but to 1800 to 6 6 3 is 1800 that is c share a b c enter into a partnership business c contributes 1 by 5th of the capital right so here also i am writing a b c the whatever the profit of 24 lakhs it should be shared in the in the in what ratio that is what i am finding so what i am doing is uh, c contributes 1 by 5th of the total parts total capital let us say total capital i am taking total capital i am taking 10 parts total capital i am taking 10 parts c contributes 1 by 5th of the capital 1 by 5th of the 10 is nothing but 2 right now now the remaining is how much c 2 parts goes to c remaining is 8 parts these 8 parts should share to these 8 parts should share to a and b and what the condition we need to satisfy b contributes as much of a and c together this condition so remaining eight parts i am sharing in this way in this way so three five let us see so a plus c is a five which is nothing but b perfect perfect 
perfect right now what we need the profit of a a is how many three parts out of 10 parts so profit should be shared in this ratio so 24 lakhs so 2.4 into 3 which is nothing but a 7.2 3.4 into 3.4 into 3 7.2 lakhs that's the a share two trains a and b running in opposite direction okay uh, length of the train if they cross 12 right relative speed concept one train speed is 224 let us say another spy one train's length is 224 another train length is l2 both are moving in opposite direction relative speed is some distance by speed this is in kmph i am converting into meter per second so this will be done in how many seconds 12 seconds distance by time distance by speed we will get the time so using the on screen calculator i got a 276 when 2 is subtracted from the numerator and 1 is added reduce just to 1 by 2 when 2 is added to the numerator and 3 is subtracted to the denominator the same fraction reduces to 3 by 4 okay what is the fraction let us say the fraction what is the sum of the numerator and denominator the let us the fraction is x by 5 first case 1 is subtracted from the numerator 1 is added to the denominator the fraction becomes 1 by 2 so from this what we are going to get 2x minus y is equal to 3 now what is the second case when 2 is added to the numerator and 3 is added to the denominator the fractions becomes 3 by 4 so which is nothing but 4x minus 3y is equal to 9 minus 8 is 1 right if i solve these two equations i will get the values of x and y by solving the equation 1 and 2 i got y as 5 and x as 4 we need x plus y nothing but 9 sum of numerator and denominator right next question find the least number leaving the remainder 2 when divided by 7 11 13 and remainder 0 when divided by 9 so leaving the remainder 0 when divided by 9 which means perfectly divisible by 9 this is not perfectly divisible by 9 what is the divisibility rule of 9 sum of the digits this sum of the digits is how much 9 20 20 is not divisible by 9 so this option is over so we need the least number i am starting with the options checking with the least number so 6390 when this number is divided by 9 so 6390 when this number is divided by 7 what is the remainder 6390 when divided by 7 the remainder is 6 but we need 2 so wrong option leave it next list is 7290 7290 divided by 7 when 7290 divided by 7 the remainder is how much 6 the remainder is how much 6 but we need 2 so that's why this is wrong answer so the only option left is 8010 let us check 8010 when divided by 7 how much the remainder 2 similarly i already checked for the 11 13 14 also remainder is 2 only so that's it that's it that's the end of my first part of today's aptitude that is 13th september 2021 numerical ability questions which are asked in the tcs nqt 2021 thank you one and all for watching repeatedly listen repeatedly listen the total almost all the varieties of questions that i covered in my video course containing of 125 videos and 30 company specific videos which are much helpful in cracking any placement the validity time is nine months to get that video course you just contact to this or to this thank you one and all thank you one and all if any mistakes in my video that i uploaded that i in this video please inform me through the mail through my mail through my mail thank you one and all thank you very much right i will upload few more parts as soon as possible